Hello, welcome to Charts. This is an application that allows quick access to technical stock charts and fundamental statistics for stocks. It can display up to three indicators and three overlays simultaneously, and multiple quick links to popular financial websites for fundamental analysis. Starting from the top left, we have quick links to Finviz, Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, Morningstar, The Street, and CNN Money, followed by a search box for stock symbol entry. If you know the stock symbol of the company, you can enter it here, or if you don't know the symbol for the company, you can just start by typing the company name. For example, I want to uh, show the stock chart for Apple. I would type A-P-P-L-E for Apple, and immediately the top search result is the correct uh, symbol for Apple. I would click on that, and automatically the chart refreshes with the proper symbol filled out in the search box. Uh, to refresh the chart, all I have to do is press go, but since uh, I'm already looking at the latest data, there's no need. Um, beside the go button, we have the uh, weekly daily toggle button. Uh, clicking on this will allow us to toggle between the daily and the weekly charts. Currently, we're looking at the daily chart. We can see this by zooming in. Uh, we can see here, it's, uh, it says daily. If we click on the toggle button, uh, zoom in again and you'll see that it's showing up as weekly and uh, we can see that this is the weekly chart for Apple. So what if we want to look at the fundamental data for Apple? My personal favorite web page to look at fundamental data is Yahoo Finance Key Statistics. And I have a quick link that goes there. So if you click on the Yahoo button, it automatically goes to the Yahoo Finance Key Statistics page. And in here you'll find all sorts of financial ratios that uh, give you a good picture of the financial health of the company. For example, uh, we have the profit margin of Apple being 22.27%, operating margin 29.39%, uh, return on assets 14.76%, return on equity 40%. So overall, this company is uh, fairly profitable and uh, seems to be uh, well managed. Uh, going back, um, I also like to use the CNN Money uh, page. Clicking on the link for that brings us to the, uh, the forecast page for CNN Money. And here I like to look at the uh, analyst recommendations. We can see that uh, 38 analysts rate Apple a buy. And then we can see the projected forecast for Apple. Um, the high is 85.8% uh, increase. The medium forecasted projection for the next 12 months is 20.5%, and the low point for Apple uh, forecast is uh, about a 34.7% decrease. Uh, going back to the main app, um, I'm going to show you the rotating the app and going into landscape mode. Um, everything rotates. Uh, we have the uh, Quick links located at the top left for access with the left thumb and the symbol text box and the other buttons are located at the right for access with the right thumb. This is done by design for ease of access. Lastly, I want to demonstrate the list of available indicators, overlays and other chart configuration parameters available. So I would click on the menu button at the top right with the three dots. So clicking on that, we're in the, uh, the menu and here we can select uh, from three different, uh, from multiple overlays, but we can have up to three. Um, so right now we currently have the simple moving average, 50. So I can add another simple moving average, uh, five, for example. And then I can also add a Bollinger Band of uh, moving average 20 with a standard deviation of two. Uh, this is all user selectable. Um, and below that, I, ha I currently have the, the MACD indicator uh, with the following three parameters. Um, I can additionally add uh, an RSI. So RSI of 14, also user configurable. And I'm also going to add a slow stochastics. Where are you? Slow stochastics right here. OK. Um, we can also select uh, between like but different daily ranges for sorry di different date ranges for both the daily and the weekly date range um, currently the daily date range is set to six months and the weekly is to five years i can set the weekly to 
for example, two years. And then the daily, I can set that to one year. So now when you're showing the daily data, it'll show you one year of uh, daily data, one year of candlesticks, for example. And the current chart type I have set to candlesticks right now. Um, some people might prefer open, high, low, closed candle bars. So you can tr do that as well. So I just do that, did that for an example. Um, also volume, you can choose to overlay the volume over the price chart or you can have it as a separate chart. Right now I have it as overlay. I'm just going to select separate. Um, for chart attributes, uh, there are various chart attributes you can have. You can have y-axis labels, price labels, um, zoom thumbnail. I'm going to actually choose a uh, zoom thumbnail and um, price labels. And uh, no need for a log scale. I'm just going to go back and automatically the parameters are saved and um, the new chart is loaded with all the current parameters. So now we ha we still have the MACD, but now for the price chart we have a, a five day moving average along with a 50 day moving average and also Bollinger Bands. Um, currently the picture looks a little choppy. Um, I'm going to fix that by going back into the options and I'm going to check smooth lines. Now if we go back, chart refreshes and you can see the lines are much, much smoother. Um, this is a daily chart and it's currently showing one full year of data, one full year of candlestick data or open, high, low, close data because we, choose, we chose uh, open, high, low, close. Um, we can see the Bollinger Band currently is in the green. Um, and then the volume is currently in a separate uh, chart instead of being overlaid as before. Uh, RSI uh, indicator is also shown below the volume and then below that we have the slow stochastics. And uh, this is it for this app. Um, I hope you find it to be a very useful tool. I know I do. Thank you.